The word of God is alive and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of the soul and the spirit and the joints and the marrow. And it is a critic of thoughts and intents of the heart. All scripture is God-breathed and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God might be mature, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, and rightly dividing the word of truth, or accurately handling the word of truth. Many lessons have to be learned from each and every word of Lord God Almighty given to us in order to make sure that we, when we grow up to the exousias, the authority we could build up day by day, learning of the word of the Lord, could even be equivalent to those exousias which are mentioned in Ephesians 6.12. We are fighting in this spiritual warfare, the foreigner evil, which doesn't have intention to change, but rather deliberately does the same thing along with the cosmocrators, the system holders, at the same time with the principles and the authorities, the authorities being exousias. Our Lord has qualified us to be. It is a real man we take up daily Bible doctrine to the exousias authority, inherent authority, from where we can learn the word of the Lord, transformed as we grow up into the word of the Lord. This authority can equally pull down the cosmocrators. It can easily pull down the spiritual wickedness. It can easily pull down that which has been systemized in this world. In fact, even that it can also pull down those having the rank of exousias when we take in the word of the Lord under the might of the power of Lord God, the Holy Spirit, and we can even pull down Satan trampling under our feet, says Romans 16, because of only one primary great thing, and that only one primary great reason is nothing but, greater is the one that is in us than the one who is in this world. And that is what you and I have been called, you and I have been noted, you and I have been made known to look and to understand, so that a believer, when he knows what he is and what is his calling, definitely he can do greater things for the work of Jehovah. Since these things have not to be told in the church, these things have not to be communicated in the church, many people who are coming as a pastor teachers are not really doing the work of a pastor teacher. Therefore, it has turned out from cave of robbers into synagogue of Satan and further into the synagogue's throne where the copulation point of Satan produces false teachers who are not capable of understanding the word of the Lord. Neither they are capable of recognizing what is the truth. That is what it is happening today in our churches. We have been given an equivalent authority to rule and trample down Satan under our feet. But we are being trampled down by Satan in our lives, prior knowing doctrine, the scotos, the darkness, because of that. There are two darkness which have to go. Number one, your ignorance of learning Bible doctrine. Second darkness is the darkness which, which has been produced by the cosmocrators, says Ephesians 6.12. This darkness has to be come out. We can easily fight when we are taking number one priority for Bible doctrine. Without that number one priority, you cannot, you will not know, you will never understand what is the principal reality of the word of the Lord. Dear brethren, many of the people have really been led into astray by not knowing the truth properly, by not giving number one priority for Bible doctrine. That is what is happening today in our pulpits. And men are not able to understand what it is. Men are not able to really look upon what is the truth. Our Lord among the midst of all those people said in John chapter 7, Be aware of these Pharisees. Be aware of the scribes. They are not worthy. They are not at all worthy. Today, the church age has been filled with such kind of a scribes and Pharisees. Scribes were the people who used to write the word of the Lord. But the sad part is today there are no pastor teachers who have written at least once the word of the Lord in their life. At least twice they have to write. Once in the translation what they read, and the second thing to cross-check in the original languages of the scriptures, they have to write in the Hebrew, Greek, and Aramaic. Preferably with the interlinear scriptures. Why these things, dear brethren, again and again I'm telling to you all, we are being placing in this intensified stage of the angelic conflict. It is not just living good. It is not just showing forth virtue. It is executing the protocol plan of God and getting back to Lord, the maximum glorification for Christ. 
not just glorification, but maximum glorification for Christ. And that we cannot do until unless we really take in number one priority for Bible doctrine. We take in number one priority above anything else, only the word of the Lord through right concept of ice teaching with the right dispensing technique of dispensation. Until then, you cannot get, you cannot think, you cannot understand. But what is happening today in our pulpits? We are not able to get what exactly is the word. We are not able to tell what exactly is the truth. We are not able to understand what it has to be number one priority for Bible doctrine. That is our faith, that is our thinking, that is our real displeasure towards God because we do not love Him with a true heart. Dear brethren, think over these issues. We have much of things to be learned, to be taught, to be told. But we know they are dull of hearing to take in the truth, to correct themselves and get back to the reality of the world. There are many people who are absolutely dull to take and which they have to be, they are not. So consider these things as it is very much essential. And since today there is a strong wind, we shall come back and continue tomorrow the same subject. With our head bowed and eyes closed, because there are many things to be learned. With our head bowed and eyes closed, the closing moments being dedicated to those who are here without Christ, without hope and without eternal life. In order to to Lord God, the Father, that to believe upon Christ, that is the moment itself. You shall have this eternal truth. This eternal truth for is for very simple believing Christ. Whereas for the believer, the great man is grow up in grace and knowledge of Bible doctrine. You shall learn to apply the post for the truth, and the truth shall set you free. And for the pastor teacher, the greatest man is to carry Sotom Lagan. Herald the word in season out of season, because the diamond from my witnesses wherewith you have been called. Number one diamond from my witnesses in your trinity, follow the Bible in our hands. And number two diamond from my witnesses are hearers. If there are no hearers, dear brother, do not worry. Besides nature, the entire angel will still be our witnesses. But what is our work? Our work is to rightly divide the word of the Lord, and our work is to rightly know the word of truth. So, which way you want to go, you decide, dear brethren, as we shall come back and continue tomorrow. Father, we are grateful for the privilege that was given to fellowship with you through the word. We pray that God guard the whole spirit and enter us on these things and make us also a blessing and challenge sovereign Lord. Father, we ask it in Christ's name, Father. Amen.